Good morning, Ramily. We're finally here, Wednesday morning, August 26th, first day of classes for our fall semester here at the Rose Hill campus. I am your athletic director, Ed Call. It's my pleasure to be with you and welcome you back to the Rose Hill Gymnasium, the most historic basketball gymnasium in the country. I'm excited to talk to you about some of the changes and renovations we did this summer. And again, first and foremost, my heart goes out to you and all your families. I hope you continue to stay safe, healthy, and stay positive. I know this has been a long time coming. We had a five months of our athletic task force to reopen. I can't thank all the work of our coaches, our student athletes, and our staff to get to this point today and reopening our campus and having our students and student athletes move back on campus and start classes today. We're super excited. I'm excited to show you some of the updates to our Rose Hill Gymnasium. I know many of you are familiar with the Frank McLaughlin Family Court Project. I know it's been a long time coming here in a couple of years in order to get some of the uh, the final touches and the conclusion of that project done, I'm happy to tell you it has been officially done and another silver lining during this pandemic period. And starting with when you walk into Rose Hill Gymnasium, see some new decor, new, new design in terms of welcoming to our Fordham basketball, men's and women's basketball family. We're excited for the upgrades and the highlights of the gymnasium and we're excited to show all of you in person. Ryan Greenhagen has challenged me that he could lift more than me. I don't think that's possible, so I'm gonna to try to continue to maintain my workout routine to keep that challenge with him going. But I wanted to show you the renovations done to our varsity strength and conditioning room. Very, very excited here. Another wonderful silver lining during this challenging pandemic time of upgrades made to our varsity strength and conditioning space. Brand new floor implemented here in terms of safety and also making sure that we have an additional space. 12 new racks for, for squatting as well as lifting and, and, and chest exercises. Brand new equipment, all been branded. We've also extended the space in the back of our varsity strength and conditioning room to give additional space for our folks, especially important here for our social distancing throughout our fall semester, as we're excited to welcome back our student athletes to start working out and training. We could not have done the 12 new racks and all the new branded equipment and the new floor without the generosity and support of our loyal donors. I want to specifically thank our lead donors on this project, Pete Signori and James Murray. Uh, without Pete and Jim, we could not have gotten this project done this summer during the pandemic and had it ready for our student athletes. If you'd like to get involved and continue to support our varsity strength and conditioning project, please let us know. All of our Maroon Club members, we, we thank, we're so thankful for your support but excited to show you a renovation in our team training and medicine space. We actually installed brand new hydrotherapy tubs. Hi everyone, my name is Erin Cameron. I'm the head athletic trainer of the sports medicine department at Fordham University. Um, I'm here to show everyone our new hydrotherapy area that was constructed over the summer. Um, this area is gonna benefit our student athletes um, and it encompass some many ways in terms of the recovery, uh, preparing for the next competition and practices. It'll allow us um, to have more space to utilize, more um, frequently available hydrotherapy for the athletes for uh, safety-wise and for treatment. And it makes cleaning easier and more efficient, so you know we're very excited to have the brand new space. It also gave us more space in our room, which is a big help for doing rehabs and conducting treatment. It's extremely helpful for our incredible team training and team medicine group who has been working diligently to get our student athletes back on campus. They've been overseeing our COVID testing. I'm extremely grateful to our training staff and our group. I'm happy this renovation took place. Another silver lining to this pandemic and excited to show you all when you return back to campus. My Fordham football community. I know we're all disappointed for the suspension of our fall football season, but I have some good updates for you. I know it's been a long time coming. I know it's been a challenging pandemic for all of you, but I'm excited to show you the updates on our football office project. I know this has been many years coming for a lot of our Fordham football alumni. They've heard about a football office project many times. We've done a lot of fundraising, obviously in terms of getting this done. And I know I'm finally happy to tell you we're about two weeks away from its completion. I'm excited to walk you through the progress of this project. First and foremost, I want to thank again our lead donors, John Lamello, John Constantino, 
John Zizzo. Couldn't have gotten to this point without their, their, their fundraising generosity and family support of Fordham football. It's amazing to see this football office project come to fruition. An incredible silver line that took place as essential workers worked the entire pandemic and COVID summer. So, so happy to show you this incredible upgrade that's gonna be beneficial for our football office staff, but our football office program and our football student athletes. There's obviously a lot of offices here, a lot of naming opportunities. Because of COVID, we have a few more months in terms of getting some of the namings done and of course doing an actual live unveiling, which we're gonna welcome all of you back to see this office in person. Still time to give and support. So the John Lamello, John Zizzo, John Constantino matching program has been extended, is still in play. You have a few more months to get your dollars in, get your naming opportunities in. We still have some mini campaigns. The 1968 National Championship football team. We have some honorees in terms of, 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 of those fallen Fordham football alums. And I'm excited to tell you, there's a lot of other opportunities for you and your teammates and your classes to get their names on here. Project's done, there's no more worrying. Is it gonna happen? Is it ever gonna happen? I don't, I don't know if I believe it's gonna happen. It's happened. Now we need your continued support and generosity. Please reach out to us and help us and we'll talk to you more about the project. But I'm so excited to show you more as we walk through, but thank you so much for your time. Go Rams and go Fordham football.